very excited to be able to share with you today what we've learned about scaling, growing and scaling proactive advisement uh, across the UIA. Um, it's been a really wonderful experience. Uh, but effective advising, one of the things that we've learned about effective advising is that effective advising is not unlike the goals that we set in other areas of our lives. And I love this slide because we want effective advising. We want fitness, but we're taking the escalator up to the gym. Right? And that suggests that perhaps we might need to have a bit of a mindset shift in order to be effective. What we've seen is that we need this mindset shift because the challenge in front of us is great. This is data from uh, Complete College America, a report that they did a couple of years ago, that shows that really a minority of students graduate in four years. A minority of students experience really, you know, what we rep, what we uh, say that we're going to do, that they're going to graduate in four years. They don't graduate in four years. And not only do they not graduate in four years, but when they graduate, they often graduate with well above the 120 credit hours that they need. Estimates are that even three credit hours above the 120 equals 1.5 billion dollars in cost to the students. More problematic is that these costs are not borne equally across all students or across all sectors of society. This data appeared recently in the New York Times and it showed the number of students, the share of students in each wealth group that was attending college. Right? And you can see in the lowest wealth group, though the number of students attending college has increased, the actual number of students graduating from college has not moved at all. We saw when we looked at academic advisement at Georgia State that we had some mindset challenges. One of the things that we do in the UIA is share our failures. And when we looked at what we were doing ac academic advisement a couple of years ago, we found that we were spending a disproportionate amount of time with students whose material outcomes were not impacted at all from the work that we were doing. We were spending a lot of time with students who had A's and B's who would probably graduate from the university and a lot of time with students who had D's and F's who it's going to be a struggle for them to graduate from the university. And the students in the middle Right? The sort of BC students who were flying under the radar, we weren't doing a lot of outreach to them at all. And worse than that, when we really looked at the data, we were actually giving students bad information. And what we mean by that, if you look at you know, this, this particular slide, if you look at students who were going to major in political science and look at the grades that they earned in their first political science class, if they got a C in their first political science class, their probability of graduating dropped by more than 50 points uh, compared to the students who got an A or a B. And what have we traditionally done with students who get C's in their courses? Absolutely nothing, right? Because C's get degrees, we just pass them along. This data suggests that that's not an effective strategy at all. And it's into this environment that we launched MAPS, Measuring, Advising, Analytics to Promote Student Success. But Measuring, Advising, Analytics to Promote Student Success is a first in the world grant, a $9 million first in the world grant from the Department of Education to all 11 schools of the University Innovation Alliance. And what those 11 schools agreed to do is for 10,000 first generation and low income students uh, roll out proactive, predict, proactive advisement based on predictive analytics for these students to see if thinking differently about advisement would produce better outcomes for those students. The key components to MAPS advisement include personalized academic maps, Regular monitoring of students for on-track status. So actually laying out what are the degree plans for these students. 
right? And can they finish those? How can they finish those in four years? And then whenever we see a sign that they may be going off track, actually reaching out to those students so that we can get them back on track. Identifying based on data and analytics risk factors that they may um, be experiencing that suggest that they're going to have trouble finishing on time. And importantly, reaching out in a proactive manner to make sure that those students have um, an intervention to get them back on track. It's basically the difference between having a map and being dropped in the middle of a city with a map and having a GPS, which will take you turn by turn, direction by direction to make sure that you get to your destination. And if you don't make the right turn, if you make a wrong turn, if you take a wrong class, it immediately starts recalculating so that you can meet your uh, reach your destination and the student can earn a degree successfully. It's really delivering common sense at scale is what we found, you know, uh, in doing this advisement work that, you know, you think that it's real complicated, but really what we're doing is paying attention and being attentional. If a student earns a poor grade in a marker course, someone reach out to, reaches out to them. If a student doesn't register for the right class, someone reaches out for them, to them. If the student registers for the wrong class, again, someone reaches out to them. If they have holds, if they haven't completed their FAFSA, we're very intentional to make sure that the students are getting uh, the attention that they need to stay on track. We've also developed a tool to track all, not only the interventions, but to track the advice that the student is given. Uh, and across all the 11 institutions of the University Advisement, or the University Innovation Alliance, we are tracking those interventions in a way that is going to allow us to measure the impact on student outcomes as a collaborative, looking at outcomes like the GPA, the credit hours, the progress to degree, the time to degree, the credit hours at graduation, the graduation status, all kinds of outcomes that, you know, basically drive student success. That's what we're giving attention to. At Georgia State, we're already seeing some good results in this area, very encouraging results for the analytic work where we're seeing that the students in the control group, and students were randomly assigned to the control groups, first generation low income students, compared to those treatment groups, uh, where the students also first generation and low income students were seeing higher, G higher GPAs, were seeing a uh, higher number of students in good standing after, um, a, 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 after each semester, higher retention rates semester over semester, a lower number of DFW grades, a lot of really encouraging outcomes from being more proactive and being more focused in terms of the academic advisement. And we're doing this work across all the institutions of the University Advising Alliance, University Innovation Alliance, because we see, uh, and it's what, what the University Innovation Alliance has been saying, that when universities collaborate, students win, right? When universities collaborate, students win, and we're already seeing these outstanding outcomes at Georgia State, and we are um, looking to see these kind of outcomes at other schools as well. Thank you so much.